So, hello everybody. My name is Ruben Schlagowski from the Chair of Human-Centered Artificial Intelligence at the University of Augsburg. And I will now present you our paper, Wish You Were Here, Mental and Physiological Effects of Remote Music Collaboration in Mixed Reality for the Kai Conference 2023. And this was a collaboration we did with the Empathic Computing Lab from Auckland, New Zealand. So our motivation behind this project was pretty much that COVID isolated musicians. And um, yeah, there were some solutions around, but uh, neither of these solutions was really perfect. Like, for example, if you used Zoom, you, you had the chance to see your partner. So to actually see like body language and facial expressions, but uh, the latency was too bad. And um, all your only solutions that were better latency wise didn't provide people with a video stream or anything like that. So co-presence may actually still be quite low or at least limited. And as a XR a mixed reality researcher, I knew that those systems could actually benefit this feeling of co-presence or being there with someone. So I uh, was interested in researching whether a mixed reality based system might actually be feasible or desirable for this context. So uh, to start uh, this, um, we had focus groups with musicians uh, online and we let them jam uh, using an existing uh, browser tool called Plink. And uh, then we just asked them for, for feedback and how they felt about it and how, uh, which requirements are actually important to them for remote jamming. And uh, the things that we uh, heard a lot was, of course, low latency and uh, sound quality and they didn't like quantizations and such thing. But uh, most importantly, they really wanted to play their own instruments. So with the haptic feedback and uh, the thing that they're really proficient with. So we went on to construct a laboratory prototype where we uh, connected two uh, adjacent rooms at our chair um, and people could actually see each other's 3D point clouds um, in their surroundings. Um, we uh, use these HTC Vive Pro headsets for this to augment uh, those video streams. And um, additionally, people would hear each other in, in high quality. We implemented this by using an uh, analog signal chain and a mixing console, so pretty much standard professional audio things for uh, the whole audio situation to connect those uh, two rooms. And uh, the point clouds were transmitted via TCP over a local network. So in the following, I will just show you a short video uh, of the system and uh, beware, it may contain some shaky or unstable point of view footage. So as you heard over there, I was communicating a chord progression to my jamming partner in the other room that's now improvising over that chord progression. And this is just uh, a short snippet of the first jam that my colleague uh, Sylvan Mertes and I experienced after the system was actually working. So after experiencing this jam, we had a couple of research questions that we wanted to answer in our laboratory study. So first of all, does the system actually benefit co-presence or the feeling of being there with someone? And this is non-trivial since also the pure audio experience of uh, talking to each other and making music with each other in separated rooms might, might also benefit co-presence. Uh, co and also uh, whether this might actually benefit the feeling of flow or the, the possibility of getting into this desirable flow state. And also we were interested whether this made people happy. So whether we see something regarding positive effect. Also Additionally, we were really interested in, 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 in looking at physiological data to investigate whether the flow state of musicians was actually measurable, maybe to, uh, to construct some effective systems in the future that consider the user state. And uh, finally, we were also interested in qualitative perception of the system, so open feedback. So we conducted this uh, laboratory study, which uh, was a within subject study with 24 participants. And we always had pairs of musicians that would jam uh, in these separated rooms with each other. 
um, using either those mixed reality headsets with the point clouds or just audio only. And um, we had uh, questionnaires measuring social presence, flow and effect um, after those two jam sessions uh, that participants had. And um, we also measured physiological data. So over here you can see uh, those participants are always wearing the small shimmer sensor measuring, measuring GSR and PPG. And we also gathered some qualitative feedback. So the study flow to be precise was like this. So we started off with a pretest panels measuring just the effect of participants prior to jamming. And then we had a sound check and just to see that everything was fine and they could hear each other well. And then um, they had these two jam sessions of approximately 20 minutes, um, either in audio only and mixed reality. Those were of course randomized in order. And then after the jam sessions, we had the set of questionnaires we just talked about, which were then uh, compared later on. And also uh, we let actually after each jam session participants annotate their own recorded audio for the jam and to just tell us when they were actually flowing. So we could perform a physiological data analysis later on. And of course we also gathered some open feedback. So regarding the results of these, these things. Um, first of all, for flow, we didn't see too much of a difference uh, for all subscales, but for social presence, especially for co-presence, we saw a significant increase in the mixed reality condition. So people really f felt as being there together with a person significantly more in mixed reality. And um, regarding how people felt or their positive effect, we didn't see too much of a difference between audio only and mixed reality, just slightly more in mixed reality, but um, really a significant increase when you compare the questionnaire results from prior to jamming to after the jam. So jamming makes happy, even remotely. When we looked at physiological data, uh, we were surprised to see that the BPM feature, so heart rate, correlated more with the flow state in the mixed reality condition. Uh, looking at qualitative results, uh, we saw that people thought that it was easier to communicate in the mixed reality condition. Um, but on the other hand, they had some trouble seeing their own instruments through the video streams. Um, and also they criticized that uh, the head mounted displays covered their faces. And uh, they also said that the image was too pixelated uh, of the point clouds. Um, also, participants said that uh, in the audio-only uh, audio condition, it was easier to concentrate on the music. And uh, they also had some ideas for future improvements, for example, to do some music-related augmentation, for example, to show keys that, is, uh, that are currently used or something like this. Uh, furthermore, uh, they uh, really uttered the need for better head-mounted displays and a better point cloud re resolution, of course. So, to conclude, um, our main findings are that remote jamming really makes happy, uh, be it in audio only or with mixed reality headsets. So remote jamming is a really good thing. Also, for you can use mixed reality and it will probably be a good thing for co-presence. And um, also, uh, by looking at the physiological data, we found that this idea of building systems that actually consider the user state in real time and maybe help them may be a feasible concept. Um, and also, uh, there are still technical limitations, of course. For example, latency is still somewhat of an unsolved issue and we also have some resolution problems. We are going to tackle these resolution problems in a future prototype using a Vario XR3 headsets for better video resolution. And also uh, we, we're gonna have more depth cams to just improve the point cloud resolution. Um, also, we really want to investigate this idea of an effective computing system that uh, assesses the user state using physiological uh, data in real time and then maybe helps him or her uh, to get into the flow state. Thank you very much for listening. Please feel free to contact me if you have any questions.